here's the true meaning of the pandemic. Online, no one can smell the Doritos. <laughs> and then I got laid off, furloughed. Furloughed is the new, but I do love you. I'm just not in love with you. Do you see the difference? <laughs> Just over a year since COVID-19 shuttered Broadway, on Saturday, three times Tony winner Nathan Lane and Tony winning choreographer Savion Glover performed before an audience at St. James Theatre, marking the first time since Broadway's closure that the doors to one of its houses opened. As part of New York Pops Up event series, Lane and Glover performed for a gathering of less than 150 staffers from the Actors Fund and Broadway Cares Equity Fights Aids. Prior to Broadway's shutdown on March 12 last year, the St. James was home to Disney's musical Frozen. Glover, who won a Tony Award for choreographing Bring In The Noise, Bring In The Funk, performed an improvised tap retrospective of Broadway numbers like I Hope I Get It, Memories, and Black and Blue. Lane, alone on the stage, recited a new monologue by Paul Rudnick called Playbills. And I know, be patient, one vaccination at a time, there are lives at stake, but then, okay, okay, bear with me, because it happened last night at 7 p.m., when in the olden days I'd be heading into the subway on my way to a show or just to wait in line for cancellations, but instead I'm sitting here wondering if there are any more episodes of that Norwegian detective show on Netflix. <laughs> or if, if that last episode was actually the ending. I alphabetize my playbills, and I get upset if someone touches them with food on their fingers. I go on every theater website and defend every version of Merrily We Roll Along. <laughs> because at least it's an attempt. <laughs> Someday, Merrily will work. I have to believe that. <laughs> or I can't move my head. I'm sorry. And fuck you, anyone can whistle was ahead of its time. <laughs> Anyway, there's a knock on my door, except I haven't ordered takeout or anything from Amazon, you know, the new sex. So, I put on my mask and I open the door, and right there, standing in my hallway, it's Hugh Jackman! Saturday's performance marked a pivotal step in Broadway's long road to reopening. Though the event was closed to the public, and live streamed over Instagram. Held just afternoon, the performance followed the first day on which Broadway technically could be allowed to open. <laughs> 